North Korea decided not to send its foreign minister to the U.N. General Assembly, citing scheduling reasons. At the same time, Pyongyang told the U.N. to scale down its staff presence in the regime. Wu jung zooms in on the possible signs of the communist state's discontent over sanctions and lack of progress in nuclear talks. Ahead of the U.N. General Assembly that's set to take place later this month, North Korea is expressing its discontent over the status quo, namely the stalled denuclearization talks with the U.S. and sanctions pressure. While there were hopes for a high-level meeting between North Korea's Foreign Minister Ri Yong-ho and U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo on the sidelines of the U.N. gathering in New York, Pyongyang has decided that its top diplomat won't be there. According to Reuters, North Korea's mission to the U.N. cited Ri's scheduling reasons, but his absence comes after Ri denounced Pompeo last month for remarks on keeping strongest ever sanctions and called him, quote, the die-hard toxin of U.S. diplomacy. At the same time, the North has told the U.N. to cut down its number of staff members in the North for humanitarian aid. Reuters reports the Secretary General of Pyongyang's National Coordinating Committee for the U.N. sent a letter to the top U.N. official in North Korea last month. He said U.N.'s humanitarian aid programs have failed as they've been politicized by, quote, hostile forces. The North demanded the staff of UNDP, WHO, UNICEF and WFP be cut down by the end of the year. It added it doesn't need aid coordination officers and they may visit the North when required. I think North Korean leadership is trying to send a message to the world that economic sanctions on North Korea is unjust and very destructive to North Korean people and should be lifted. And at the same time, North Korean leadership is trying to send a message to the Trump administration that time does not necessarily favor the United States. The news comes as North Korea seeks to deepen relations with China and Russia amid a prolonged stalemate in nuclear negotiations with the U.S. An unnamed U.N. diplomat told Reuters that Beijing and Moscow have recently pushed a, quote, false narrative that sanctions are the cause of the humanitarian crisis in the North and therefore should be lifted. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.